A new faction booster is upon us, and it's actually one that's going to be a little bit meta-changing. So I'm going to be bringing you guys one of the best possible decks to play for this week, Headhunter plus Dark Domain Faction. You know what it's about, so grab your coffee, grab your device, and let's head on down to Game by the Beach. <laughs> Welcome back once again. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we've got a new faction booster that we're going to be checking out. We've got Head Hunting, which is actually one of my favorite uh, faction boosters because it really does affect the meta. And it's Dark Domain, which is one of my best factions, best decks. This is what we're going to be rocking with right here, right now. We're going to jump right into a game and see how we do on the ladder. Welcome back once again. Here we go. We're going up against a Blade Dancer deck. And let's get going right away. So first and foremost, let's notice that he's got Shaman. So we're going to have to be ready for our mans. He's got some average equipment, let's say. Let's just be nice. Say average equipment. But our priority is to try and utilize head hunting. Okay. And how head, head hunting works, if you kill a boss, it will rank up three of your Dark Domain factions, or is it rank up one by three? I don't know. Either one is really good. Either way is very, very good. So I'm going to try my best to get some high-ranking cultists in fantastic spots, such as that middle one right there, and then utilize this faction booster to the best of my ability. Okay, so we've got four cultists in good spots. This guy is a little bit less impressive, but they're all in good spots. They're all ready to take out a boss, and this way we're going to see exactly how headhunting works and exactly why you want to play this way. But I'm ready for him to do a little something. He's got Shaman. He's actually leveling up his Blade Dancer first and foremost, which is very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. I'm going to wait for him to spam his board before I do anything and then end up spamming my board because um, otherwise I want to keep my board um, high level but low amount of units. If he spams Shaman, I want the alternative. I want a bunch of units all over my board, preferably at a low level so I can merge them around and cleanse them. And he just maxed out his Blade Dancer. Wow, very interesting play style. I like how everybody has a little bit different individual individualistic approach to playing this game and uh i am a big advocate of straight up not leveling up any of my units for a long time and getting my board looking good and then going from there so this guy got ranked up to a rank five my man got hit by a thing right there i'm gonna spam see what he ends up doing we can do this we can do this I'm just going to cleanse. Okay, so far so good, fellas. I definitely think we're in the right right ballpark here. Let's do this. What is that, a dryad? All good. We don't have a ton of mana. He is already in a tough spot. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. He's in a tough spot. We're going to merge out right there. We've already got two Ts. I wish that these guys were rank uh, twos, or I had a couple of dryads or things that I could use, but we're already looking good, and he's already in a tough spot. He does have a rank four, a couple of rank twos, a rank one, but the fact that his only blade dancer did get hit by warlock was just, uh, it was just unnecessary. It, it truly was unnecessary. Is it going to be the end of the world for him? You know, no, but... It was, it was pointless to let that guy take a hit, and I, I he was probably, you know, sleeping or you know, doing the dishes or whatever. One of my favorite parts of playing Rush Royale is that you can kind of do something else while you play. Um, so it happens all the time. But uh, either way, not not great in my opinion in that part. But let's keep going. So the only thing about this board now is that we have a bunch of cultists and we have multiple rank one cultists. So if we're going to get ranked up, 
it's just blind luck if it's going to be one of my rank fives, my rank four, or if it's going to be rank ones, which obviously we don't really want. But if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video. If you want to help support the channel, the best possible way is whenever you make in-game purchases, go through my games and use code BEACH. Okay, it'll get you a 10% discount code um, for the premium pass as well as... There's everything under the sun that you could possibly want in the uh, in the My Game store. Just like in the Rush Royale store, it's got everything you could possibly need. So go check it out. Like I said, link is in the description. And we're also been posting on TikTok. So if you guys haven't already, go on over and follow me on TikTok. We are kind of trying to get to uh, a thousand subscribers on TikTok just so that we can stream when we so choose to stream. But uh, it's in the it's it's in the works. We'll see. if we get there, cool. If not, no big deal. Let's just keep going here. Um, and of course, if you guys do enjoy, let me know in the comments because uh, it helps keep the channel alive and keeps me producing content where I try to produce content pretty frequently, as you know. I've been going every day for years, and now we're going a couple of days a week, probably uh, going forward. But that's okay. Uh, 18 seconds. I'm just going to do this. Spam some more. Let's just get our chemist up. I've disrespected the chemist long enough. He is going to hit that guy, so poor timing on my part. Maybe we can cleanse it with my enchantment. Nope. Okay, let's see what leveled up, because we had really great luck on what leveled up um, in the last one. So I'm going to try and cleanse. There we go. At least we got rid of rank ones. This guy's a max. This is why you guys got to play this deck. Seriously. All right. Let's change that guy. Um, not a big deal. Let's just do this. Also not a big deal. Tribunal coming up. I think we're absolutely in the driver's seat here. 45 seconds. Oh, let me know in the comments what your favorite deck is to play this week. Are you rocking Dark Domain? Are you just frustrated playing against dark domain and headhunter or are you utilizing it to the best of your ability both both are options okay okay um let's just merge that okay that worked out really well actually 12 seconds until tribunal so i am going to cleanse and he's going to hit me one more time that's good finally we can cleanse where we're actually utilizing cleanse because we have jay i'm not worried about um tribunal so much i'm gonna hit my J now take everything out rank fours rank fives it's a beautiful thing he does have one shaman chilling up there i've got a dryad to do a little something something only a rank one or only a rank two chemist is a little underwhelming, of course, but uh, that's okay. If I got a dryad right there, I would have I would have leveled him up. We still have one more cultist in a corner that we can cleanse, but I think this guy's um, game, his time, is numbered. I think that we are gonna start running away with, away with this soon enough. So here comes. Cultist there I can cleanse. There's our rank three chemist that we were talking about. Can rank out the rank ones. Kind of unfortunate there, to be honest. Um, let's just do this. We can go there. He does not currently have a shaman he can send my way, but that doesn't mean that he won't find one. Here, here's one. There we go. So I'm gonna change that. Now I can actually cleanse that. Love that. Merge that. Assassin, take that out. We've got rank fives, rank fives, rank sixes, rank everythings. We're rocking Summoner. You can see exactly why I run Summoner. It helps you get higher level stuff. That's a given. That's what Summoner's for. But if you ever get landlocked, you can also just hit the Summoner power up and get a new Summoner as well. It, this deck is super crispy. It's super smooth. Can it be both things, crispy and smooth? Yeah, I can, you know. It's our world. We can do whatever we want, right? Uh, oh, okay. We're just going to cleanse that to get rid of some of the puddings. Again, we're going to have to use that summoner to try and figure something out. If we get a dryad, fine. We get a cultist, fine. We get a chemist, fine. We got plenty of options. What would we not want? Harlequin would be fine, too. 
I mean, literally anything that that summoner turns into is fine. So let's change it. Let's do this. Th this. I'm slow. Oh, we got it just at the, at the tail end right there. Did get hit by King Pudding pretty bad. At least our enchantment cleansed a little bit of our of our units there, a little bit of our board, and uh, we are going to be able to use Summoner to change something. Oh my gosh, that is super unfortunate. But we can just do this. Uh, we can cleanse right away because we got a bunch of stuff all over the place. Uh, kind of stuck. I don't think it's going to matter. It's unfortunate that that guy got hit by uh, a shaman to where it ranked him down from a max to a rank six. Of course, that's unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. It's uh, it's going to be fine. He's, he's having all sorts of trouble. 23 seconds. I think Izzy Pants. I wanted to say that as... Uh, I don't even know why I just hit that cleanse button. Hit him with a good game. I wanted to say that as spaced out as possible. I didn't know if putting it together sounded something weird. Either way, GG, sir. Level 13 Blade Dancer against our max level cultist. You'd love to see it. That's one game in the books. Let's jump into game number two here and see if we can continue to showcase the dominance of this deck. Back in we go, and we're going up against another Blade Dancer deck. I don't know what just happened with the camera. We good? Are we are we all right? Okay. Um, but that's all right. Okay, this guy's going to be a little bit higher level. He's, he's a max. Our last guy was a level 13. So I'll take a max. Fine by me. And let's keep it going. So already we've got two decently placed... Uh, I mean, this is a very good placement of a cultist right there. I do eventually want a cultist there, of course. So the only other place that I would want a cultist is going to be right over here. So that's what we're kind of working towards, okay? We're going to look at this guy's equipment just really quick. Level 4 gadget, nice spear, nice um, nice thing right there. Okay, so let's do... We're going to go here. Okay, so we're going to go here and here. I'm going to... Nice. Um, Let's see. Could I level up my Dryad? Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. I did not mean to level them up again. I can cleanse here. Okay, 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 okay. We're figuring it out here. Because now I can at least do this. We've got four units on your board. I think it only levels up three. But there's a very high percent chance that it'll level up both the rank four and the three. At least one of them. So, well, it's gonna, it's 100% gonna either, it's 100% going to level up at least the level three or the level four. There's still a good chance it'll level up both. That's where we're at. Okay, so here we go. 14 seconds. We're just hanging out. This is how I'm gonna like to play moving forward. I'm probably gonna keep this kind of core, probably one T at least through the next wave. That last game we got really fortunate lucky whatever you want to call it to where we were set up with our board super early where we got two t's almost um, immediately off the bat which is not really what my intention was was gonna be it was what i was what i was hoping for um so it's all good so let's just do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna cleanse and once again this is the board that i'm gonna chill with i'm gonna go i could just change this though What's the worst that could happen? Let's just do this. Boom! You know? It's on a square. We've got another thing that we can cleanse. I'm going to cleanse that right now. We do. We added two cultists to our board. One of which finished our T or our plus, whatever you want to call it. I always call it a T and you guys say it's not a T. Lowercase T. Lowercase. Um, but I think we're, again, I think we're in a really good spot. I was trying to find a support card to throw in this deck other than Chemist. Chemist is great. I think Chemist is super strong. Um, you could also run Pretzel. It would pretty much be the same thing. But um, I was trying to think of another card that would be within the Dark Faction, Dark Domain Faction, that would also benefit this deck. Couldn't really think of anything. I was looking. Demonologist? Nah. Frost? Eh. Um, you know, Sea Dog? 
maybe, you know, uh, but I, I feel like Chemist is a really, really solid option here. And it makes it so that more people can play this deck no matter where you are on the ladder. Everyone's got Chemist, right? If you don't have Chemist, comment down below. I'm not going to see any com comments of you not having Chemist. Four seconds, three seconds. We're also going to have a ton of mana here and some very high level boards uh, or units here. So it didn't hit our middlemost one. I have half a mind to keep this board again. I have half a mind to get up, heat up the coffee, and then... Oh, yeah, thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, thank you, animations. I thought I figured out how to turn that off like a while ago. That's fine. Um, I could just walk away for right now and, and just chill for 60 seconds. Like, we're doing literally nothing right now. But we don't need to do anything. I'm going to hit my J for literally zero reason. Um, and this core is just going to continue getting leveled up. And you might ask, well, wouldn't it be beneficial to finish out some other T's and get those units leveled up also from Headhunter? Not as much, right? Because remember, these three, I can't really point to them. I'm not the weatherman anymore. The hand goes behind. Um, but these three, one, two, three, are our middle cultists that are going to be harbingers that are outputting the uh, most of the damage of cultists the ones on the edges they're there moral support they're the cheerleaders they're trying but those middle ones those are the qbs those are the tight ends like those are we're like right those are the ones that are scoring the points so uh four seconds i think this is probably the last one we're going to hold out for try to get a couple of those middle ones up to six i really want to see some six is Beautiful. Let's spam. Because I do want to also focus on um, getting some... I might as well do a little bit of this. Getting some uh, stacks from our cultist. For our cultist, rather. Not from, but for. Uh, da -da 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 Let's just do this. We'll go there. We're going to go here, 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 here. Spam a little more. It's really not trying to give me cultists in the corners here. There's one. Uh, Let's do some summoners. There's two. Let's move, merge this out. There's three. Okay, that'll help with our stack. Now we got a couple more. That's good. I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to merge these out. Kind of unfortunate, gonna be honest. Definitely kind of unfortunate. This is gonna be a merge right here. And we're back to our core. Cause we can we can uh clear all these. I'm gonna do this. And look at that, we've got our core right back. Love that. We do have a max on one of them. We have a finished T over here. I'm gonna level him up. I'm gonna do this. Um summoner. Let's change that. Well, it's not the one I was looking at, but let's just do it. We do have a rank four on a J tile. Not bad. Obviously, I'd kind of want this uh, seven to be part of a T. You know what? That actually helps me out. Because now we're going to have an easier time merging it out if we ever get that chance. I don't want to say I talked it into existence. But we got a rank four cultist now. I'm going to level up my rank one chemist. All right. I mean, we're good. I mean, yeah. It's exactly what we wanted. King pudding in 15 seconds. I'm going to still cleanse right here, even though I do want to have a bunch of cultists um, reared and ready to go. I want to level this guy up a couple of times just so we don't have rank ones. Two seconds. See, this is kind of a shame, actually, because I forgot for a second that Hen Hunter is a part of it. And uh, I would like to have fewer units. It didn't hit any of our rank ones on the edges. So that's good. So we'll just cleanse those right now. I'm going to do it again. This rank one chemist just hanging out. Do we have any pudding on important stuff? Nah. Just this guy. Just one Just one measly, lonely guy. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. 35 seconds. So once again, we are going to want to have a couple of cultists on the edges to cle cleanse Dark Priest. Level our mans up. Let's get our chemist up. I don't want to disrespect our chemist. I really don't. I'm going to go there. I'm going to merge these out. Another chemist is kind of a shame. At least we know... Oh, actually, we can do that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're still going to have two 
cultists that we can cleanse. Dark Priest is only going to hit two units. Um, hopefully, we can get rid of this chemist eventually and maybe even get that guy to a four. But I, I think we're, we're chilling. So that's fine. I think it did actually level up one of our um, rank ones, but that that's, doesn't matter. Cultist. Chemist. All right. Virus and Pudding coming up. He's doing pretty good damage, but you can see it right there. That first Banner Lord. You can see how long it took him to take out that Banner Lord. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You can see how long it took out that took to take out that Banner Lord. So you already know he's fallen off a little bit. All right, we're gonna go here. Beautiful. Amazing grace. That guy's a max. That guy's a max. This guy's a six. Oh, it's just gorgeous. But we don't have anything to cleanse. Could be a little ugly. Come on. Oh, no. Well, again, well... We're going to do a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. And see if we can just battle out Virus. And then get back on track. I'm going to hit my J here to help out with Bannerlord. He is also Virus, but he's got Portal Keepers. I don't know why he's virus We got rid of one of the Viruses there. It is spreading, but we've also kind of gotten through those middle... Spots definitely not gonna hit my cultist right now, not my cleanse right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rank that guy down, level him up, get another cultist. Love that virus is now gone. This guy, we have a couple of king puddings, so that's gonna be a little bit tougher to get rid of. We did get rid of the virus, so that's great. So let's just do this. Do I have anything to even use my Dryad on? Not really. Got rid of that pudding. We got a pudding on that guy, though, huh? 20 seconds. Let's just do this. We're hitting absolutely nothing. Got pudding off of our chemist, which I wasn't really worried about. Um, I could just level up this chemist for zero reason. Um, maybe... I don't know. We might get hit by Tribunal. I don't think we will. Because we're taking things out so quickly. Then we got King Pudding again. Well. Well. I don't know. Where are we at? 16? Yeah, that's the lowest, right? Yeah. No hit from Tribunal. Obviously no hit from anything else. So I think we might as well. That's a great cleanse. Might as well do that. And we're going to be right back to square one here. He took a hit, got switched, and that's going to be a GG. He ended up getting to 99 stacks or something like that. Him with a good game, almost 3,000 crit. We've got 3,200 crit, almost a billion damage. Not too shabby. Fellas, if you're looking for a deck that works super well for this week's faction booster, look no further because you found it. Challenge of seven. There's way too many pop-ups in this game. That is what it looks like. Uh, yeah. If you want to see the talents and you haven't looked at them, that's what we got. That's what we got. And that's the only other one with talents. That is going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my games, and I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.